Hi everybody, so in this lesson we're going to do uh, a map in Excel and uh, basically we're going to be mapping a, an indicator, uh, some data from the World Bank development indicators um, and uh, you can just uh, uh, start by searching for that in your, uh, in your search engine, World Bank development indicators, it should come up, just click on it and then from there um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the countries tab um, in country. So you want to be on countries and not on aggregates or all because if you're on all then and you select all then you're going to get all of these um, regional aggregates as well um, like an average for the Arab world or for the world as a whole or South Asia or small states. You don't want that. So you want to be in the countries tab and then you want to click on this button, select all. And um, from there, uh, you're going to uh, fold that closed, go to the series that you want. And basically the series that we want, that we're going to be working with, is female labor force participation. So I'm just going to search labor force participation and um, do a search. Ah, and it's uh, it's working and yes and I already have it selected but here uh, if you're following along you can select on labor force participation rate female percentage of the female population ages 15 to 64 okay and then uh, for a year you just want to select a recent year that you think that the countries will have all have data for right so the most recent year oftentimes there's no data or limited data um, but if we go back five years, oftentimes we can find, uh, you know, uh, enough data to map. So in this instance, I'm just going to select 2017 and then uh, we're going to download this as Excel. Uh, you might want to check just to make sure that all the countries are there and everything. Yep, yep, everything's there. looks good. So we downloaded that and then we can just open that in our Excel workbook. Um, and it should appear here soon. It's loading. Okay, there we go. So uh, we want to get rid of all this stuff. We don't really need those columns. We just need the indicator and the country. Um, so um, we're just going to go ahead and delete that out. And here uh, we can just call this FLFP rather than the year. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to show up in the map anyway. Now we have this interesting problem. If we try to map this as is with all these missing values, it's really going to get messed up. So what I want to show you is how to delete this using the find and select tool. So basically first do a find and replace control F go to replace find what dot dot means missing right and replace it with a blank. So hit hit dot put dot dot and find what replace with blank replace all okay and then from there um, you can select that column, uh, go to find and select, go to go to special, all right, and then select blanks. Now it's going to select all of the blanks. You can right click on one of the blanks and then very gently um, go to delete. And in delete, make sure you select entire row and now it will get rid of all of the missing data, okay. Okay, so uh, now from here we can go ahead and produce our map if we just go ahead and select all of the data. And we go to insert. And then we go to maps. And we select on the little map icon there. And it uh, nicely charts uh, or maps the data. Um, and labels, if we were sure to select this top row here, actually let me drag the map up here a little bit so it's further up. But basically if we're sure to uh, select this top row up here, then we also get a nice title for the, the legend, FLFP. Um, and then we also want to change a chart title to female labor force participation uh, 
2017. Um, and here, maybe we want this, uh, now that I think about it, maybe we want this legend here. Uh, instead of saying FLFP, maybe we want it to say something like percent. So we can go ahead and ch uh, change this up here. It should change in the, um, in the, in the map there. There it is, uh, that changes. And now uh, if we want, we can also go ahead and change the chart style and color. There we go, there's different styles here, as you can see. Um, you could have a dark style instead of a light style, if you like that. Um, and then also the colors, you can make the fill color a different fill color. Um, there we go. <laughs> Um, so it's all based, it looks like, on what is the first color here in the row uh, in, the, uh, in the color scheme, okay? Um, right, so that's how you would change a color uh, to get a different color on your choropleth map there. Um, and that is essentially how you make a map with Excel. Hope that was useful.